I wish it didn't go down that way. But would I have learned the lessons that I learned through it all had it went down a different way? Why am I doing any of this? Great question. I believe I, I've had a calling for quite a while that I've been ignoring to share more, to be on, on a path to support others in their awakening, in their spiritual growth, in whatever aspect we, we want to call that. I feel like we all have been feeling the transition of of life. We, we've been feeling something is going on. Something is changing. Something is bringing us to something new. And we can either choose to open ourselves to that new thing, or we can choose to stay in the old. And whether there's actually a, something that splits us off and separates the two groups from each other or not, I, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't claim to know that. I know that my path is definitely an opening path of breaking down old programs and patterns and systems and all of those things and getting to a place where my heart can be open all day, every day in this world where I know we're all taken care of. I feel so deeply what so here we go one of the things that i've been struggling with for a little while now is is money and my struggle with money is that it it has us do things that we normally may not do just for the sake of money it it inhibits us from really giving ourselves to something because we all feel the need of, of being taken care of. We, we all have bills to pay. So I'm coming to peace with, with that aspect of life and, and I have to pay my bills. So I, I do things for money truly. And I, and I'm trying to do them more from my heart and taking the projects that only, only resonate with me. And does that mean I live a little bit of a tighter lifestyle? Of course it does, but I'm okay with that. I, I've definitely had moments though. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. There's moments where I would love to go back to my old world and uh, have the abundance of money flowing in and not have to consider it in that regard. But no matter how much I think about that, I actually can't even bring myself to do it which is the oddest thing ever for me because I I was so driven in my past, so driven for money and to, to buy things and to pay for things and to take care of people and all of that aspect. And, and then through this waking up, I don't know what word to use, through this thing of realizing this spiritual piece of myself that is, has been pushed down for so long, it's like, I'm not meant to go back there. So if that means I have to live on a little less money, so be it. If that means that I have to, to make more of my own food rather than buying prepared stuff or grow my own food, so be it. These are things that I would rather do anyways. And ultimately, it's none of, none of that stuff really matters at the end of the day. Like If today was my last day, on this plane, I'm good. I'm totally good. The things that I have will go. Well, they won't go. I will go. This body will go. The things will still be here for somebody else. And that's fine. I don't need to carry them with me. I can put them down at any point now, which is a godsend in my mind. <laughs> It's like there was so much attachment to things in my past that I struggle with. And that's that was part of like my struggle to even start sharing with people is is this being tied to my old self and 
and all the people that were in my life and my past and how they would see me and and possibly judge me but it didn't matter because i was already judging myself in that regard and in that judgment um, i couldn't even bring myself to share i couldn't i couldn't do this it's it's only now that i'm, I'm getting more peace with like that that's that was a past me and i did some things that that i don't i'm not happy about for lack of better words there's no words to really describe it it's like i wish it didn't go down that way but would i have learned the lessons that i learned through it all had it went down a different way i don't know probably not because this is where i am and these were the things i needed to go through and the struggles i needed to go through and and all the challenges in that and in, in changing my lifestyle from this material life that I created to, to walk away from it all and, and build a more simple life where I can have time to self-reflect way more. And, and yeah, I may not have as much things in my life, but, but those aren't the things that are meaningful to me anymore. Uh, I would way rather have a heartfelt conversation with you or with somebody in my life than to go buy something for a momentary joy of having a new thing <laughs> running around. Now, there's tools like this microphone or the cell phone that's filming this that are nice to have um, in order to even do this. So, yes, there's still things. And at any point, if I had to get rid of them, I could. And that's, I think, the beauty of this journey is like, what are the things that are holding you back from from truly you and stop you from having the life that you may want to live because there's an attachment to maybe how you look or to feeling special in some way because you have this prized possession. Yeah. I feel like it's all just looking a certain way for things that we actually don't even care about in the grand scheme of it all. And and I want this to be a bit of an invitation then to like maybe start looking at those things. And my partner, she's been, uh, I think the word she would use is unraveling things in her world as well. And and she loves to sit with people and and help them discover things for themselves so that they can unravel as well and like having somebody in my life that is on a similar path she would she would say she's on the untangling or unraveling path untangling i think is actually the word she uses having a partner anyways that is on a similar path of untangling from this material realm to get to something more true i guess i don't again <laughs> there's no real words to describe this this stuff so it's hard to hard to really capture it in in what it really is what it really feels like within me and yeah there's just there's so much so much beauty in this untangling in this walking back walking home as i uh walk back to source and untangle from from this physical realm that I don't get me wrong it's it's through this journey it still allows me to play in it, it still allows me to be in this physical realm but I'm also get to be in the other realm at the same time and walk on both sides of the road and, and bring that essence that that would that would be my um, truest purpose in this physical form I would say is to bring that true essence of source into my everyday life into my every encounter with people into this social media land and am I perfect by no means am I perfect um, not in not in this human form anyways uh, there's still moments of struggle and all of that but that's that's what I would like to bring forth into this new world that I feel like we're creating is walking in that truest essence and and supporting the people around us that come into our worlds 
Um, yeah, I, I think that that that's a beautiful, beautiful path. 